Welcome back to the wonderful world of AIDS with your host, the Fishmonger. Fish. I'd like to congratulate all the current contestants on staying with us up to this point in time. A lot of people have thrown in the towel, and others are contemplating doing so. We are officially done the first third of the tourney. Also, during the days of voting, Gamer Island UK decided he wanted to leave the tourney. So he is no longer a contestant. Next update, there is a new rule that I will be introducing to the way votes are scored. Because some people are starting to abuse the system, and it's already gotten on my nerves. Before I get to the real part of this update, I'd like to make something clear. There was a lot of confusion regarding the low placement of Super Saiyan 7171 last round, and I feel I need to explain that for multiple reasons. The Traveling AIDS Tourney, as its official name is, was intended to spark creativity and innovation using the oldest and most overused sources of all of YouTube poop. This includes things such as not using jokes that were already used, not using overused forms of editing, and such. Upon watching his entry for that round, I found myself in shock because, in all honesty, it had to be one of the most generic videos I've seen in YouTube Poop today. All I was able to see in that video was the typical funny bad words, as I call them, in nonsensical placement, and the color changing effect. And this is not the type of thing I want to see in the tourney. I hope that answers all who are asking. Now, let's look at the score from the voting last round. I don't have much to say, so I'm just going to give you a few seconds to look at it. Okay. And this is the part of the tourney where things get intense. It's round three. And this is where it all heats up. Dr. Rabbit is one of the most infamous AIDS sources. Really only second to Mama Luigi and CDI, which ironically are the next rounds we will be facing. This round will be incredibly harder than the others. And this is the part where I see who was cut out for this type of thing. As I told you, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog was a very easy source for that round. I am mean was difficult but a lot of the cutscenes go unused, and it had a lot of variety of sentence mixing opportunities because the voice actor put a lot of emphasis on certain sounds, making it very easy to word splice. Dr. Rabbit is worse because most people who use it tend to use it all the way through, leaving less opportunity for joke work, other than the fact that most of the jokes are the same, so it might not be as hard. This is bad for you, but good for the tourney, as now you'll have to use your heads and search every corner of the source for innovation, meaning we'll probably see some more out there type of videos using techniques that have never been used before. And that's my little yapping. You guys can take off and respond with your entries when you're done. See y'all next time.